Hello once again. I am Ozymandias, and this is Let's Play Folklore. Um, oh, my controller turned off. Damn it. Come on. Come on. All right, there we go. Um, yeah. So, uh, I believe we're about to visit the plot again, which probably involves lots more cutscenes. No? Well, then what the hell was the point of the... Oh, it's you. I'm not going that way. Screw that. Oh, you know, I think maybe I have to go back, actually. Me. Let me do a little exploring here. It's kind of cool. You can just sort of evade the critters by not going anywhere near them. Doo -doo -doo. Don't mind me. I'm just... I'm gonna... I've decided I'm going to follow the little silver discs. Uh, because they seem to be... Maybe they're not leading me anywhere useful. I don't know. I don't know if they are or not, but I'm going to follow them. Um, I, I think... I'm going to make a wild and probably completely incorrect guess that they are leading me toward, uh... Back, back to the plot now that I have... No, no, they're leading me back to this, this idiot. Okay. What? The bar guest is immune to its own attack? Alright, um, actually guys, I'm gonna pause this, and, uh, I'm just gonna fight this guy for the experience, and then I'll get right back to this. Okay, so, uh, there we go. I actually beat it not once, but twice, um, because it seemed like a good idea. <laughs> um, because I could, mainly. Uh, and also because I did that thing where I went through that gate and went, no, this can't be the right direction. And then I turned around and went back out again. Uh, and shock surprise, there it was. Um, no, let me, let me heal. Yes, we know. He's a guardian. He was standing ten feet behind you when you were talking to your mom. How did you not... Not only was he standing ten feet behind you, he was talking. Inside voice, but talking. What, what do you mean we have to find out where the folklore is? Was the bar guest not the folklore? Apparently not. Okay. Seriously, though. Like, how, many, how do you not notice that? How? How does that not happen? He was standing right behind you. Ugh. Things move with the power of plot, as we know. We'll be at the ferry hall soon. Which way are we going? Fairy Lord needs your powers. Yes, but there are two directions. Uh, do we go this way? I'm presuming that's the correct direction. But that just makes me want to go this way. So I will. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, fine. What? Oh, okay. I was like, you're gonna make me walk all the way up there instead of jogging? Come on. Or flumfing as she does. The pleasure world? Okay, now I'm just thinking of, uh... It's... Is it War Machine? That has... Not War Machine, um... Warhammer 40k that has... Oh. What the... What? Oh, right then. Okay, um, yeah, is it, is it War, War Machine that has the, or not War Machine, god damn it, Warhammer 40k that has the, the pleasure worlds? It's like the hive world, the, there's like a mining world. I'm not gonna walk right up, back out the door, am I? No. Hello. What would you like to ask? WTF that guy over there. <laughs> Great, why do I care if the audience hall returns to normal? Oh, probably because uh, I can't talk to the fairy lord until I defeat the folklore. Which I believe is the final boss. So, or not the final boss, the, um, you know, the boss of, of this level. Harmful effects of oblivion. Okay, so there's a game called, um, oh, what is it? There's a game called World of Darkness, 
and one of these things is a uh, one of the one of the things that comes with the World of Darkness, the, the series of books. It's called Changeling the Lost, and it's about the fairies. And I'm just picturing taking the fairies of those books and putting it in this world and running that event, or running like a um, a game based on that. You'll take the world by storm. You're not going to let me talk to the guy, are you? Oh. No, if I just stand in that little divot, I can talk to him. Okay. You can't be an elf. You have a beard. Everyone who's ever played Dungeons and Dragons knows perfectly well that elves don't wear beards. Or don't grow beards. They can wear a beard if they're so inclined. Your wish shall be granted. But first, you must kill this giant... Whatever it is. But I'm quite sure it's going to be huge, because bosses are always huge. The worst of their fears and sorrows amalgamate into the most powerful types of folks. The great folklores that stand in your way. I have to fight? You've been fighting this whole time. Oh dear Jesus. Uh. Oh my god, do you ever look silly. The folklore... Cernanos. Cernanan. Cernanos, I guess? Yeah. Alright then. Oh, wait a minute. So if I beat this guy... If I beat this guy... Yeah, you look really silly. Page 5. Does that mean I missed pages, like, 1 through 4 here? Or what? Is, is beating this guy, like, getting a legendary Pokemon? Is it, like... Why is that, like, triple exclamation points up there? Glasses? Oh my god! Nobody from my world wears glasses! What? Nonsense shenanigans. Anyway, um, so I guess I'm off to capture a legendary Pokemon. Or, I mean, uh, wait. Where, where am I going? Where do I go? Not that way, apparently. Nor this way. Okay, um, great. That's awesome. Oh, I bet I know where to go. Okay, uh, which would be this this away. I, I bet I know where I'm going. That place that that one guy told me not to go. Um, what's his face? Scarecrow. Why could I not remember that? That place where uh, Scarecrow told me not to go just yet. I bet that's where I'm supposed to go. So I will skedaddle on over there. But I'll probably hit a laughing things. Um, I'll probably laughing steps. It's pretty cool. Uh, probably hit a cutscene first. Again. Do you have anything interesting to say to me now that the, uh, the folklore's materialized? No, now we're talking about the pleasure world again. Okay. Are you... Ah, there you are. Hello. Talk to me, please. Remember what the fairies told you about how to defeat it. He didn't tell me how to defeat it. He said, beat it. That's about it. Alright, um... Da -dum -da -da, this one... Yes, I'm sure I want to save my data. Yes, by the way, uh, actually, it's not 3.20 a.m., it is, in fact, 4.20 a.m. Uh, right now, I don't sleep much. So, yeah. Um, oh, wait, no. Oh, no, that is what I wanted. So, we want the picture book. And we want, not that page, not that page, but this page. Oh, my God, what is that? What the fuck? Alrighty then. So it's a giant leafy tentacle thing. Oh, it's that boss from um, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. There was that boss that was just vines. And it was horrifying. And you had to beat all the vines. So it looks like... Uh, that looks like the bar guest. But I can't tell whether that means I'm supposed to use the bar guest to, like, plug its vines. Or... <laughs> Or uh, whether I'm supposed to avoid using the bar guest because the vine will whip it up into a tornado and it'll be useless. Um, I don't know, and I guess I'll find out. But I'm clearly meant to use the boobery uh, to, I don't know, blow the plant away, I suppose. Alright, um, so I'll do that. Switch around my, my critters here. Uh, Alright, yawn. 
You know, I yawn, but I'm not really tired. Uh, right. Alright, so I want... Oh, wow. I've caught just about every critter. The only one I haven't caught... It's not there anymore. What happened to it? Huh. Alright, well. Uh, anyway. So, I want... That for shielding? That for shield. No, this for shielding. Um, I want you for attacking. I want you because you're just better than the fast guy, I guess. And I'll have you for the. Well, I'll keep the. I'll keep the puka for now. And uh, yeah. I don't know why I didn't organize that before saving, but I'm gonna save again now. Save data. Yes, please. Save. Yes, I will. Yes, yes. Save, save. Save completed. Excellent. Alright, and, um, we're gonna skedaddle on over this way. What do you have to tell me? Anything useful? What would you like to know? Sir Nanos. Heavily armored and its tentacles are lightning swift. Chop off the tentacles and it might be manageable. But no one's had the nerve to do it. Great. It spews flames and poison. If only we could stuff something big in there. So yes, I meant to uh, stuff the bar guest into the thing's tentacle. That just sounds awkward. How how horrible is that? The right of the Kilmulus. Fifteen Kilmulus leap about and pray. Go and have a look. All right. I guess I'm supposed to kill them. Absorbing the id of the same folk many times. Yes, I know. The Nemozine, I think. Folk that devours the memories of the dead. If you seek the memories of the dead, touch the, the Nemozine. It looks a little like an insect would in your world. Oh, I remember this! I remember this. Okay, so let me read this one more time. Alright, uh, chop off the tentacles. Okay. Spews flames and poison. Okay, so I have to stuff my bar guest into its tentacles, which is only vaguely suggestive. Um, and, you know, I'm going to go back here. Because I hate switching around my my party of Pokemon uh, every time. Um, but maybe I don't even need to. How do I... Alright, let me look at that page one more time. Alright, so... Oh, I see. Okay. So, I need to... Stuff the bar guest into the tentacles, then use the Agma to chop off said tentacles. Then, once the tentacles are all gone, it looks like, because I don't see any of them waving around, uh, it looks like I need to use the Boobery to blow it away. Lovely. I, I can do that. Good. So I'm actually... Oh, no. Wait, no. I'm, I'm not all set yet. I need to switch uh, Agma. There we go. Awesome. Okay, how do I... Stop that. Go away. Alright, good. So I'm all set. I'm going to save one last time. And then I will attempt to uh, to beat this thing in the next video. And uh, we shall see how it goes.